Alrighty, folks. Welcome to uh, another league with a deck I deck I brought you guys a week ago or a few days ago. This is a uh, eight rack. It's got a uh, eight copies of the rack. <laughs> it's the whole premise. But yeah, you basically just strip their hand and kill them with uh, these cards right here. You know, the green of each opponent's upkeep. They get bolted. They get bolted. They get bolted. That's the whole game plan. It's just a bunch of discards, some removal. There's some uh, stuff in the sideboard to hedge against uh, that not happening, like uh, them being able to stop you. You know, if they're playing a lot of creatures, Bonte's Lost Reckoning is real good. Delirium Skines is pretty much just for if they, uh, if we can't target them, you know, for uh, for boggles and stuff. Uh, Silent Visitors, good fun. Um, I just saw other people using it. It seems cool. <laughs> it's Duress, I got one of them in the main board. This is actually supposed to be a Gurmag Angler. I don't know what happened when I was putting the deck together that put this in here instead of uh, the second Gurmag. Um, just kind of annoying. I really wanted to play two. I wanted to see it relatively, you know, often. But I can't fix it now because I've already joined the league. But I think it'll be fine. A lot of the lists don't even play it. I just think I'll more aggressively side in these guys. Um... And there is a boon to uh, the opponent sideboarding out all of their removal because I don't play any creatures because they never see the angler. I just really wanted that to be the case anyways. Most of the time, only playing two, they probably wouldn't see it You know, every game one to effectively sideboard. But uh, yeah, we're going to dive in and try and, uh, try and tilt some folks. All right, let me just go ahead and throw that over there. Wow, three copies of Shrieking Affliction. I really wish... Oh, they mulliganed. And we're on the draw. I almost want to keep it. Um, the deck has so much discard in it. I know it's... Uh, it's just... God. Mold down to six. This is the chances of us drawing discard is so high. It's like better odds than us drawing another land. I know this is not... A, you know, man, I'm just... Whew. Who okay, I'm gonna keep it. If we draw like any discard, it's great. Like uh Blackmail. I would even yeah, I'd be fine with blackmail. They're gonna play like two cards right now. They're already almost okay, well. They're back to five, but still. I feel pretty good about it. Um now all we have to do is draw us anything. Okay, perfect. Okay. That's great. They mold on the play. This is just perfect. Like, couldn't get any better. Mm. Figure next turn we just retrace and play an affliction. What are they? I don't really think anything they can do is that exciting against us, so. And see, now they're getting in kind of a rough patch, I think. Uh, I, I definitely didn't keep the most exciting hand ever, Remand. Interesting. Um, hmm. And do we just, re I guess we just Raven's Crime again here? I, I really wanted to play Shrieking Affliction. I think we just Raven's Crime again. I can get, I can get two Shrieking Afflictions down in the same turn. I think they're going to have a lot of trouble, um, especially if they're a control deck uh, really coming back from this. If it's Storm, then let's go ahead and Shrieking Affliction. Let's go ahead and play the Rack. Another Remand would be annoying, but I, I feel like we'll be fine right here. Uh, I wouldn't have minded drawing a land instead of another copy of the rack. Oh wow, it doesn't even make me choose. That's interesting. Oh, I guess that's only my only opponent. <laughs> so I wonder, does that target? Hmm, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't. I feel like it gets around Leyline. Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure on that, but I think it does. Um, they're just going to try and draw cards. Uh, I feel like this gets countered, but I think it's fine.
Oh, wow. It didn't get counted. That is exciting. <laughs> this is going to be pretty brutal for them, I think. Yeah, cool. That was pretty easy. I mean, them mulliganing on the play is just really rough. Uh, you know, like uh, I can't imagine that that is something that they ever want to do. All the duresses come in for sure. Um, Bontus comes in. Uh, mainly because I'm pretty sure the way we lose um, after sideboard is to a uh, is to empty the warrens. Uh, I don't really think anything else matters that much. I'm pretty willing to get rid of uh, the smothers here. I don't think they're going to be... I want some amount of removal um, because I do want to kill. It's hard for them to combo off uh, without Brawl or uh, Electromancer, but it's not uh, it's not impossible. Uh, I also just want to make sure I can kill them. So Some amount of removal is important. Um, I think eight pieces between Victim and Smallpox should be okay. They probably won't have more than one creature out, so smallpox is pretty good. Um, trying to decide. Angler seems fine. Uh, wrench seems fine. Bringing all the duresses in, so I can probably side out some blackmails. I think I can probably side out a blackmail. Um, maybe I only bring in three duress. Uh, well, yeah, I'm definitely not a definitely not an expert in this matchup. Stupor might not be that exciting, just because even though it's a uh, okay, maybe I just only need two Bontus. I just feel like they definitely win with empty the Warrens. So like just just getting a two, like empty Warrens on two, is enough to just start wearing us down, and we just end up losing the game. Um, so maybe maybe I keep Bontus in and hedge on them, expecting that we have tons of tons of discard. Um, maybe I think in this matchup. Duress might just be a little bit. Oh, maybe, maybe three duresses, three blackmails, ditch Gurmag, and I don't know. I really don't know what else to cut. I feel like Funeral Charm and Ravens are just our best. So maybe, maybe one copy of Stupor is fine. Maybe this will be okay. Again, I'm not a, I'm not an expert, like an expert at siding with this deck. Uh, so this is nice though this is just a, a fantastic hand it's it's pretty much got everything we would want um uh, <laughs> the last hand was kind of just oh god you know i had three shrieking, shrieking affliction so i couldn't really say no uh, the good news is hopefully like basically i play duress they play brawl i kill it and then they just get out of cards What do I take here? What do I take? Uh, I'm not too worried about Grape Shot or Desperate Ritual here. I think Opt um, is probably my best bet. Hopefully they spend their next turn playing uh, Brawl, and then we're in a pretty good spot, I think. Uh, yeah, if all they do is play Brawl, I'll be really stoked. Sick. That is fantastic. Um, that is like a dream come true. Because maybe they thought I was intending to side out my removal, but I am not. <laughs> uh, I guess that's what's so uh, what's, what's kind of so fun about the rack is you you really don't care about one for oneing people, like you uh like you really don't mind at all, you know. Uh, I think I actually play Dakmore Salvage here. Maybe I don't know. I don't know about that actually. I just feel like I want to do more things in a turn than I can currently do. Let's go ahead and uh, wrench mind on them. I say we go up to three lands, and every land after is just going to be an extra ravens. But next turn we can empty them with ravens. So maybe that's kind of rough. I really don't know. We do have funeral charm, so what we could do with ravens next turn we can do with it and funeral charm. 
it just feels bad bad playing the salvage right now because I could just be taking another card. What do they have? Okay, so they kept the opt for sure, which it makes sense. Uh, their goal is definitely just to beat us to death, you know, like that's just makes sense to me. Uh, let's just start off with uh, Raven's Crime. And then I guess we go Victim. Hope they didn't get a counter spell, and we are we're just in a great place, I think. Uh, like next turn, I'm just looking to hopefully draw land, Raven's Crime again. I will Funeral Charm instead if I have to. Awesome, just yeah. I w I think that's a, an interesting matchup. Uh, I feel like Storm would have a lot of trouble against a deck that literally all it does is take cards out of your hand. <laughs> all right, well that was a uh, that was fun. Uh, wow, feels feels bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's that's fun. Okay, uh, let's let's dive into another one here. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I normally won't talk too much while I'm queuing. But uh, <laughs> I did mention in the uh, in the write up that the the main plan of the deck is to tilt your opponent. Because uh, we we definitely hadn't like won either of those games yet. But man, <laughs> uh. deck is very annoying. Hmm. Not very good. Um, say, probably one of the worst hands we could have. We have a turn two wrench mind, and we have an answer to a creature and a shrieking affliction. So it makes me kind of want to keep it. But I feel like that would be a mistake. Uh, they're mulliganing. I think... Uh, I don't know. Answer to a creature. The whole deck's discard. I could do it again. I could try and do it again, but it just feels... This is way better. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I mulliganed. This is... This is way better. Yeah. <laughs> them mulliganing while we're... like And choosing the play is just the dream for the rack. Like... You know, uh, I'll I'll put that on top. I'm more than willing to uh, duress them turn one, depending on what they show me. Hopefully, it's not burn or something. I think that's probably uh, one of our harder matchups. Oh wow, nothing. Okay, that's super sick. Let's uh, let's go ahead and just uh, crack down with this duress real fast. Let's see what we can steal. Oh wow, that is uh. Definitely not what I was expecting. Um, wow, that was a. Uh, I don't even know what this is. I mean, they play a lot less troll, uh, which we can totally allow. Um, I'm super confused. So they got rid of Bloodstained. Now they have two Hazarets, a lot left, and Thrun. Um, I guess what we do here is. We probably just wrench mind them. Uh, Strip their hand away a little bit further. Hopefully they didn't draw an artifact out of nowhere. Uh, I don't know what they're planning on doing here. Luckily enough, we do get to kill Lotleth after a minute. But uh, huh. Lotleth could definitely prove to be very troublesome for us. I don't know what they're going to play instant speed, though. Oh, wow. Oh, are they playing that? This is awesome. I think they're playing that deck where the the Delve dude who steals everything from uh, the cards in the graveyard, which I am just so stoked to see if they can make that make that work. Uh, that's awesome. I'm super into it. <laughs> Sick. Like, mad respect, honestly. Okay, so now they get a lot left down, and they have the mana to regenerate him, which is pretty annoying. I feel like we could definitely just lose to a lot less troll. Um, yeah, 
feel like Lotless Troll is definitely a card that can just kill us, uh, and they can just get it big right now, I think. So maybe I Raven's Crime, try and bait it out of them, and then... Yeah, I think that's probably the game plan. So I Raven's Crime, try and get them to do it themselves, and then I Rack and try and race them. So let's see if they'll discard it all themselves. Perfect. That's kind of what I expected. That's fantastic. They do just nullify like half the cards in our deck, but they do not nullify the rack, which is what am I? What am I? Uh, what is that? No, oh, that's that was not the graveyard that was revealed. I was like, this looks wrong. Now they're dead drawing. They're, they're getting bolted every turn. And they can't really do much about stopping that. But I mean, they're actually playing a deck that wants to discard everything, so it's kind of interesting. I I can't tell whether this is an exciting matchup for us or a really bad one. <laughs> uh no no swing that that had to have been a mistake uh so i can only victim uh confused so if i've i don't know what to do here uh So they'll be coming at me for five next turn. I, mean, I don't know. If I just make him discard the card every turn, I don't, I don't really think it matters. And then I can victim a lot less. Okay, I mean, I don't care. Like, You're still taking three. They're on a four-turn clock, and one of those turns I can leave a card in their hand, which is the turn that I would like to... Uh, but I'm also on a four-turn clock, so I wonder who this is better for. So two black. Play anything that's that's got less power than Lot Left, and I'm stoked. Oh, except for that Delvey boy. Okay. Whoo, never mind. They finally drew their, their dude. Okay, so, so he's got double strike, first strike, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, trample, vigilance. Yeah, I think I auto lose to that. Yeah, I feel like I just auto lose to that card. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. So I definitely need Bog. Bog is one card that would be good. Uh, I think I can even bring in the Spell Bombs just because why not? I feel like Duress is especially weak in this matchup, and, uh, hmm, wait, oh, wait, never mind, I can, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, I feel like Smallpox is gonna shine, because they have Regenerators and Indestructible Creatures, if I'd seen a Smallpox so far, uh, Funeral, I mean, Discard seems a little bit weaker against them than I would like, maybe I should try and hedge on doing as much of it as possible but not as much as I I would normally be doing uh, so I think that that leaves me with uh, like ditching a blackmail maybe and uh, like the stupors I think are fine to come out I think that's fine yeah because I, I don't intend to like the fact that I got my one duress was kind of lame uh, I would do I play first that's always the weirdest thing about this deck. I know what they're playing. No, I don't play first. You always put yourself on the draw with the rack. This is this is great. I mean, it's not the per best hand ever, but it's it's pretty good. Uh, I would really like some removal, but oh, did they mulligan? That's exciting. Yeah. Okay, so they're they're not gonna hurt themselves a bunch this game. Let's go ahead and Ravens crime them. Let's just start picking them to pieces right now. I really need to draw my bog or my uh my uh spell bomb before they they go off. Yeah, Lotleth is pretty intimidating.
Okay, so that's that's good. I think I can pretty much afford to do whatever I want here. I'm trying to decide if it's worth trying to funeral charm that in response and make them discard two cards. Here, let's go ahead and see if they'll just start discarding everything in response to Raven's Crime. Because then we'll just play the the rack, I think. Uh, oh, what did they discard this time? Faithless? That's fine, I think. Um, could make them discard one more, but I think... Uh, I don't think they want to, necessarily. Uh, so I guess let's... Uh, so maybe we make them do it anyways. You know what I mean? Uh, could just Raven's Crime again. I don't have a way to kill Lotleth, and I can't race Lotleth this game, so maybe I need to play a little bit more conservatively. Just because I have no way to murder it yet. Okay. I think we'll wait. We have time. If they try and discard one card to fuel him, I'll make them discard two, and that just progresses us even further, especially where they're at right now. I think we're in a great spot. So let's see. Oh, shit. I actually did that wrong. Okay, I won't. So we still get to kill Lotleth and take their whole hand, I think, right here. So I wrench mind. They discard both in response, and hopefully they do it slowly enough that. Okay, so salvage is fine. Okay, I don't want to see the reveal. I don't want to see the grave. And then we just blow up Spell Bomb next turn, like, pretty much no matter what, I think. Okay, so let's see if they respond to, like, their own. I really want to... They're just going to grow him in response, so I guess I don't get to kill him. That sucks. Uh... I guess I didn't. I didn't think about that well. I can still force him to die with a with a smother. Did they only discard one card to his ability? Oh, that's super weird. Um, let's go ahead and let's start with the rack, and then we'll Nile spell bomb next turn. They actually don't have the red mana for faithless looting, so they would have to top deck it. And I think we need to start hurting them pretty much asap. Um, If they play dude, okay, perfect. Okay, so they're gonna looting. Well, they won't looting this turn, that's fine. So I get a funeral charm their hand away, basically. Or their next card away. So I'll spell bomb this turn. And we still get a smother even though they get to regenerate. So I guess what we do here is we just play the spell bomb. I say we get the card that, well, I guess they don't really have to discard it. In re well, they don't get to draw it, I guess, is the, the main thing. Um, they can't really hold anything, so I don't really see anything wrong with uh, playing lands. Uh, I guess let's do a draw step stop. Make them discard it, then exile all their cards during... I'm gonna go ahead and auto yield them. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be auto yielding to my own rack. I'm gonna go ahead and funeral charm. Make them discard a card. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and exile their graveyard. Let me read now, spell bomb. Sacrifice an exile card. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Another copy of the rack helps us pretty much lock up this race. Turns off their main contender. Yeah, I feel like we, we probably have game, game two pretty locked up right now. But, I mean... This deck is a slave to top decks, you know.
they can also just hold cards but we have two uh two turns to skip so they're gonna take six right now and then they basically have to take four next turn or wait is it yeah they have to take four next turn i mixed up the rack and shrieking affliction interesting um Oh, Smother says it can't be regenerated. <laughs> wow. That is ridiculously convenient. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Sorry, I, I, I'd, never <laughs> I'd never really read the card, I guess. I just saw the CMC three or less. And <laughs> All right, so I think our sideboard was fine. Um, I, I just, I'm not even sure if Angler is going to do us anything. I wonder if we want, like, a Reckoning or something. But it doesn't, yeah, I don't know. There's always Shadow of a Doubt, so they can't um, so they can't fetch. Just whip one of their fetch lands. That's weird. I don't know uh, necessarily what the, the best configuration is here. I still think a Gurmag just dropping, swinging over them is fine. The Smothers are fine. The Victims are not anywhere near as good as the Smothers, apparently. In this matchup, at least uh, one lander... Wow, way too many two drops for one lander. Uh, I think we have to mulligan. This is much better. Uh, oh wow, this is actually really bad. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> okay, I think we can afford to put that on top uh, just to get to wrench mind, but leave Bajuka Bog up. Uh, so, I mean, I guess first turn we end up just playing the spell bomb anyways. I mean, it's. It's a fantastic card. We just need to... I don't know why I kept this hand. I, I guess I saw the Bajuka Bog and the Spell Bomb and knew that it crippled them. Uh, I think they can tell we didn't have a first turn play, though, because we did not. Because we... Oh. We Nile Spell Bombed. Okay. Is that another Lotleth? I think I, I think I just auto-kill Lotleth with Victim if they play it. I don't think I can afford to let them keep it for long. Yeah, okay. I think the way we lose this game is by Lotleth just getting massive. So I could wait a second for this, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and... Are you serious? This thing's a zombie? Oh my goodness. I'm so annoyed. <sighs> After all the stuff I said about our removal being pretty much unconditional and modern. I have to play this sick deck that I respect very much. Wow, that's pretty gross. Okay, well. So we wrench mind again next turn and they discard their whole hand and we get beat to death by lot left roll, I guess, is what's happening. I think we might end up losing this. Uh Yeah, I mean, them getting a lot left every game has been pretty taxing. It's probably their best card against us. I mean, it and Hazaret. Hazaret's also a very good card. Oh, what else do they have? Maelstrom. Uh, I mean, I mean, obviously, I exile your graveyard in response. I guess they don't know I have a Pajuka. I, I, I don't know if... I, I mean, it almost seems like that would have been better on just a, a, an extra damage for for a lot left I just don't see how that's really benefiting them much I know I only get one card out of it but I really really would like to okay this is this is pretty much perfect uh, smallpox they really get nothing out of it and then I think I exile their grave so I'm gonna discard I guess wrench mind maybe. No, I think they're in a, a weird spot. Let's go victim. Uh, oh wait, okay, victim. So they had a land. I sack a creature. I'll sack a land. I 
And then I think I just play Bajuka here and set them on absolute zero. Put them in just total top deck mode. They only have two mana sources. They do have Grizzly Salvage. They have a lot of cards like that. So, I mean, it's not like they're dead. Uh, I still need to get Shrieking Affliction on board. Uh, so, I guess best draw right now is just a one mana discard spell. Because we're going to play Shrieking Affliction. On the assumption that they have so many big creatures in their deck that I think I can still hit them next turn with this wrench mind. And then we'll be right back where we want to be. So if they don't play anything, it's pretty much perfect for us. Okay, a land. As long as they don't fetch, I think we're okay. Perfect. Okay. Let's just, wow, just a lot of wrench mines. I think we're still going to hit them with it. Just They're holding something. I would rather just get rid of it. Um, Soul Flare is an acceptable card. Wooded Foothills was putting them one card closer to getting to him. Though, obviously, they... I mean, just a 4-4 four, four, uh, Delve is pretty scary. Um, oh, they're playing lands. I guess that's better than leaving them somewhere. Interesting. Uh, so now we stop during their draw. Oh. They threw me off. <laughs> I guess they're trying to thin their deck right now, so that's fine. Um, I feel like we're in a decent spot to uh, to do something here. I mean, I think we're in. I mean, again, they're just in top deck mode. I mean, if they draw a Hazaret, uh, I still don't know if we lose at this point because it's, it can't be next turn. Because I'm gonna make them discard whatever they draw next turn. So, got that upkeep stop on lock. Oh, wrong, wrong thing. Okay. Is that the concede? Oh, okay. My game lagged up for a second. Does that sometimes when people concede? What do we get? Oh, just a swamp. But it still puts them in like a pretty much just lost situation. They have one turn to draw something to kill me or answer shrieking. Um, so I mean, I, I'll just hold cards. I, I don't see any reason to do nothing. <laughs> and they can't hold anything. Hazard doesn't win in the game. I can't think of anything that does win them this game right now. Um, Hazaret's scary, though, for sure. Yeah, I think Hazaret's probably their best card against me, other than the Lotleth. I think the Lotleth is very good against me. I, I don't think it's bad that they got it every game turn two and nullified a lot of my cards. Uh, but it, definitely a Hazaret would have been something I have no way to answer. So it would have been just an immediate, fast clock. Um, but yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good uh, so far. <laughs> it's pretty rad. Alrighty, welcome to match number three. We are currently two and zero, oh. and ooh, that's pretty rough. Man, uh, we're on the draw, huh? Maybe I can. I just—it's hard, you know. Stupor's great. Like against a lot of decks, it's gonna be really exciting. Funeral Charm can, you know, I'm gonna keep this. Uh, I think I should have probably mulliganed. Uh, oh, I'm on the play. Did I click play? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I am. Oh, wow. I'm just not smart. Okay. That's that's rough. I, I just did that on instinct. Uh, I I definitely wouldn't have kept this hand on the, on the play. I also, I, I guess maybe playing is acceptable. Uh, what does Shriek one do? Okay, so they're milling themselves. That's fine.
maybe at end I just funeral charm them, I guess. I mean, this is this is going to be a really hard game to win, I think. I think Stupor is going to be one of our... Like, next turn it's just, like, Dark Blast is... Okay, Dark Blast does absolutely nothing against us, so that's super exciting. Um, I mean, let's just play a really bad hand. I mean, we're just probably going to lose game one. We're, I think this is already a bad matchup for us. I don't think we're really... Uh, in for beating dredge <laughs> but like I, I think this is just not the right hand to do it we could there's a lot of stuff we could have done to try and do something uh, about this i mean stinkweed and grave is just yeah this is just bad oh, an amoeba yeah this is this is not good uh <laughs> so we definitely need a bajuka bog like five minutes ago i think it's rough. Even then, they fill up their graveyard so fast. Like, this is the matchup that you really just want. Uh... Man. Who? Oh, goodness. Yeah, I mean. You really want ley lines, but I just uh, didn't really have the money for ley lines. Wow. That is a lot of blood ghasts. Uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, an intimidating amount of blood ghasts. I think this is probably just I mean wow. Yeah, I'm <laughs> this is probably just like the worst matchup we could possibly have. Uh yeah. Yeah, you really need ley line for this deck. Uh we're pretty much gonna gonna lose here. I think I'm just gonna yield to uh, I'm not gonna yield, I'm just gonna click okay. I might want to exile at some point during that. Uh so smallpox is useless. Stupor is basically useless. And I don't know if there's anything we can do about this. I feel like I... I mean, I'm almost 100% sure we can just concede here. That's 14 damage on the table. There's no way for us to mitigate that. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think this is just a matchup we really don't want to be in. Um, if we can help it... Uh, I, I feel like duress isn't miserable uh, just because we want to take some stuff, but I feel like we just want Bontus. We want both our spell bombs. And uh, that's... Maybe we want Asylum Visitor here. Uh, it's a decent chump. It'll... Uh, man, it, I, mean, I guess it kills Prized Amalgam at least. Uh, yeah, this is a really bad matchup. Uh, I feel like Victim's not as good in this because half their stuff just doesn't die to it. Um, <laughs> whew. Man, I'm, I'm not really sure what to do here. Uh, I know this is a terrible matchup. I know it's really just like... A, like I think you're supposed to just mill for lay li like mole for ley lines um, in this kind of matchup, but I I can't do that. Uh, I don't really care about ang oh maybe I do care about angler. If I can get them down to one creature angler, it will be pretty exciting. Uh, I feel like I can side out the stupers because they're gonna be way too slow. Wrench mine should be fine even though I've got some artifacts. Smother should be. F I can't really take out all my spot removal. Um, it's just really. Really kind of a rough one. I feel like duress might be take outable. Uh, and maybe I bring in duresses to try and hit their uh, their draw spells and like faithless looting and stuff. I mean, I think maybe this is the best we're gonna get. Uh, this really just is, I think, a nightmare matchup for us and like uh, the best matchup they could they could dream of. Um, I don't want to play first. It's like I didn't want to play first last time. <laughs> um, I think Bontus is kind of exciting. Uh. We, it's just another really bad hand. Uh, uh, I think I can mulligan. I think I can keep. I think I can bottom. <laughs> Hope to draw lands in the next couple turns. Because, yeah, we're just assisting them in putting stuff in their graveyard, which they don't normally get to do for free. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of stressful. So maybe the last hand was a little bit better. At least we got the Raven's Crime. Um, maybe we Funeral Charm here instead to try and avoid Dredge. Um, I don't really know. We definitely want to empty out their hand. Uh, 
But if they don't have anything, like, like they kept a bad hand because we are going to do stupid stuff and, like, let them get cards out. Uh, I don't know if we can afford to Raven's Crime here, but playing Shrieking Affliction seems bad, but I'm going to do it. Uh, I'm going to try and slow roll them here. Because if they didn't keep eluding for themselves, then we're in, like, we're in kind of a weird spot where we can kind of hold our discard for a minute. We'll see what they do here. Um... It's a little awkward because they're assuming we're going to make them discard. So they didn't even care to mole. And I think that's fine for us. I, I almost kind of just want to sit back and wait until we can strip their whole hand in a turn and uh, drop like a drop like a, a bog. Because if they can't do anything, then, you know, we're just going to win anyways. You know what I mean? Like, I don't really care if they draw a bunch of cards. Uh... So we're pretty much at the land cap. But yeah, they don't have a way to... <laughs> they don't have a way to discard stuff because they assumed I was going to do it for them. Which is rad, honestly. Uh, so they, they drew a spell, obviously. Okay, that's good. Let's see what they drew. Okay, see, there we go. There we go. So they got their dredger back to their hand. They don't have any more dredge and grave now. They have a looting, but that's it. So I think we just continue to sit back. I think we can afford to. Um, I think the extra land is fine here. Uh, I mean, they're going to play Stinkweed, but that's not really a clock we're worried about. I think we need to wait for one of our exile spells before we can even really interact with them on a, on a real level. Uh, I think we, we just have to wait. Um, we don't have the ability to do anything else. Um, this would be a point where, like, extirpate would be really exciting. I didn't realize they were, like, $2 a piece, though, so I did not do them. That's fine. I don't care about that. Uh, Faithless doesn't really do much except give them something else in the grave. Fills up their hand. We can wait until they're... They discard during instep and then start making them discard. So, luckily enough, they can't dredge right now unless they have like a. Okay, so. I think now might be the time for us to jump the gun here. And just get started. I might be wrong, though. I think maybe the plan I had was fine. But. Because they would have only gotten another dredge out of the stinkweed, so maybe I'm maybe I'm being stupid by jumping the gun here. Uh, so I've got three ravens crimes, and they're about to blow up. I think maybe who knows. The good news is we have Bontu's last reckoning, so we can hopefully. I think I get three ravens crimes anyway, so let's just go ahead and ravens crime. Raven's Crime. Oh, no. <sighs> Click the wrong card first. If you can't tell what I did. Um, but that should be fine. We've got them down to two. They're going to take a little bit of damage during upkeep. They're going to draw step. They get their trigger. I get... Oh, they have to be one. That's right. One card. That's still fine. Um, they haven't hit anything that comes back yet. What we really need to do is draw... Uh, <laughs> uh, something of merit. Uh, See, we would make them discard two and actually get some damage in this turn, but we do not get that uh, that luxury. Now, the good news is, is there's potential for us to bond to them to absolute oblivion once they bring it all back. Also, all we have to do is draw spell bomb or bajuka bog, and we can we can do this. Okay, bloodgast is going to make this 
annoying because they're going to get three prized amalgams back. Okay, so they're going to get three prized amalgams back, but we can take that beating, I think. No, we can't take that beating. Huh. I just need to draw Bajuka, kill everything, and then Reckoning. I'm not going to... Oh, wow. Okay, so... The problem is is that they just get blood gas back and all of these back... Okay, I don't get a Bonte's next turn. Okay, so I just have to sit back and wait, I guess. I mean... I don't know. I'm... They're not hitting anything great. I am taking 11 here, though, so that's not very exciting for me. <laughs> I would have been happy with one win in this matchup. Uh, Bajuka Bog would be an exciting card. Hush, hush. Puppies, hush. Hush. You're being loud. Be quiet, babies. I love you. <laughs> yeah, life in the limb makes my life kind of hard. Makes it pretty much impossible for me to win unless I... Okay, so this is cool. Bontus. I'm still on a short clock with blood gas, but that's fine. So they get to respond to the trigger with with getting blood gas back, but they don't get any of their amalgams back. And they lose most of their graveyard. But they do have blood gas now. This would have been a great draw last turn. Because now, even if I draw any of my removal, I can't kill Bloodgast. I'm kind of taking a beating. And they just got lands back, so they can pretty much do whatever they want. I'm on a five-turn clock. There's almost no way for me to interact with them. I assume they do something. Yeah, Stinkweed's good. Um, I guess the question is, is anything better than getting to play Raven's Crime this turn? Which I guess is a good question. Them discarding doesn't benefit us. And if we draw anything but a land, we'll be kind of happy. Anything but a land or the rack, so... Another Bajuka Bog now is <laughs> okay. It actually is kind of exciting if they don't play another fetch land. Um, it means that we can potentially try and end this. Okay, let's see what they do. So let's hope they don't play a fetch land. Cool. Okay, so this is fine. Let's go one, two, three. Bontu's last reckoning. Bajuka Bog. I really didn't want to use Bajuka Bog in that situation, but I think it was pretty much the only way to win. So I don't know what they have, but hopefully we can smother it. <laughs> They might have nothing. It looks like they have nothing. That's pretty cool. I don't think picking a card away every turn is going to do us any good. The rack is going to do us even less good, though. So, like Filling their graveyard back up just doesn't help us. Like Other than trying to kill them by them dredging themselves out. So looting does some work for them right here, I think. I will definitely smother whatever they play, I think. Okay, so Thug. They flashback looting. Dredge with the Thug. Okay, so Tormenting Voice. Stinkweed, Blood Gas. So they get another Blood Gas. They get Narc Amoeba. They get Confergate, which just kills us, right? Yeah, it just kills us. Oh, yeah, Confergate just kills us. Cool. 
mad respect. Killing me with Complicate and the... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. To be expected, I think. I mean, had I made them discard, they would have just discarded Conflagrate anyways, so... I mean, I, I feel decent. I don't know if I made the correct plays most of the time, but uh, I think that is the pretty much an impossible matchup. Well, I would have never drawn anything that mattered. I don't know what would have mattered, honestly, that late. Uh, maybe Gurmag would have been acceptable. I'm not sure. That's a, a nightmare matchup, though, without, without the uh, ley lines. Which I actually never checked to see how expensive they were. I just assumed they were too expensive. Let's see if I was correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're too expensive. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could uh, we could double the budget of the deck, strip the rest of the cards, and we could play one ley line right in the side. <laughs> Alrighty, welcome to match number four. See, the weird thing about being on the, being having the option is, uh, they pretty much know what we are if we say no, but I think that's fine. I guess that doesn't really matter to us. It's a shame for blackmail to potentially be our first card to play, but I like I like the removal to discard, and the rack. Um, it's it's pretty decent. That's kind of. Where I want to be. Okay, I was like, they don't even play a land? <laughs> okay, I was like, that's interesting. Ugh. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Your thought sees me. I guess I lose blackmail, for sure. Maybe Shrieking Affliction. I assume it'll be blackmail, or maybe Wrench Mind. It's my two for one. Either way, I wouldn't want to be. Them right now, I guess. I don't know. Okay, so wrench mind. That, that does make sense. Because blackmail, you know, it's like a worse thought sees in a way. Let's see if I can draw. Okay, smother is not what we want right now. I think it's pretty obvious that we have to blackmail here. Ghost Quarter, Quasali, and Pride Mage. What is Ghost Quarter is just any land. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I th think we can afford to take Thoughtseize. Yeah, that's fine. Um, though we wouldn't mind them playing it. I just don't want them taking Shrieking Affliction, I think. Uh, they might have IOK. -okay. That's the problem with, uh, with Blackmail. But... Uh, it was actually pretty cheap on uh, MTGO. Okay, I thought they might have I. Okay, that's fine. We lose Shrieking Affliction, and we're stuck with just removal, which pretty much puts us in a terrible spot. Uh, though it looks like they are some kind of... Uh, some kind of... Uh, like Abzan, or Junk, whatever you want to call it. Uh, brew... So I assume they have creatures, which is acceptable for us. Oh, they took the thing that murders things. Wow, okay. Okay, here, that's that's perfect. Okay, we, we couldn't have won anything better at that moment. Um, the wrench mind is just going to tip this over the edge. Yeah, 95% of your matchups, Wrench Mind is just such a great card. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you play against Affinity, it's not great, but <laughs> everywhere else, it's pretty solid. Ghost Quarter and Elspeth. That's that's fine. So now we have, we basically land Shrieking Affliction, Smother if they play a creature. That's pretty much the game plan, I think. Okay, so, I mean, we just smother that anyways. I 
So they don't even have the mana to affect this. And just smother it. I, I, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess play it anyways. They might have a Goyf or something, I guess. But I, I don't really... I mean, they just draw, and we hope to draw, like, a Raven's Crime or something. Start stripping their hand. Or they'll just play creatures. I guess they can't really win just sitting back. Oh, what is this? What is going on? What did they do? Oh, okay. They're going to be playing Duran next turn? I I'm super confused here. Okay. Um <laughs> Duran doesn't race me. Like I, I don't know if Duran races me anyways. Uh Oh, no, 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 I didn't mean to reveal my hand. Crap. Okay. Uh What do I what do I even do here? Uh And I feel like Bantu's isn't a terrible card. I'm definitely going to take Duress out because even though they had some cards I wouldn't mind hitting with Duress, I really don't care. Um I'm going to bring a Silent Visitor in cuz I think they're going to move out a lot of like pretty much all their removal for other cards. So I feel like both my Silent Visitors are going to be really strong. All my removal's great. Uh all of my uh like stupor is a little slow. I know I say that a lot, but I, I believe it most of the time. Um, Funeral charm seems fine, uh, as always, because they seem like they'd be pretty good at top decking. Uh, whereas I have been cutting. I really want stupor, but I, I think I'm gonna side stupor out um, and just ride with this. I think that'll be fine. Uh. I think this is a, a decent hand. Two Ravens Crimes and a bunch of lands. They basically just take Smother. Um, did they choose to play first? Sick. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you can't play first in Mole. I mean, like, you Thoughtseizing, like... <laughs> I was so confused. <laughs> like, Thoughtseizing me or I okaying me isn't really that great. I mean, you get Smother. I will give you that. You do get Smother. So I can't really be like, oh, that's bad. But your hand is gone next turn. Like, like if you play a land next turn... Yeah, so this turn I play Raven's Grind. They're down to three. Next turn, if they play a land and a creature, I strip their whole hand. So, I mean, obviously they take Smother. Oh, that's just brutal. Smallpox on the draw is just going to make... Yeah, Smallpox is just going to make this so much scarier for them. Uh, I just need so so few lands and so few cards to function. So it looks like... The, yeah, that was that was a smart play. Uh, abrupt Decay. Oh, they kept in removal? Okay. that's. I guess if you have to, you have to. Goyf. Good for you, man. This is going to be uh, pretty annoying. <laughs> Okay, so I could just make them discard their hand and then smallpox next turn, but if they top deck a creature, that's rough for me. So I'm just going to smallpox now. Uh, I mean, I guess Raven's Crime is the same as a swamp in hand. Uh... So just in case I draw another land, I think I would rather have the Raven's Crime in my grave. Oh no, never mind. I need the land because yeah, I need the land. Perfect. So now basically they have a one drop or they have a land or they have a land. Okay, so. 
So land was the dream draw there for sure. We Ravens crime them, discarding a swamp. And this requires, okay, I think getting the rack online now is probably better than uh, Funeral Charming this turn, so. Is it, see, this kind of deck, they just draw, anything they draw is just not great for us, though. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm going I'm to Bajuka Bog. I know it's not the, like, dream, but, I mean, I don't know if they do stuff with their graveyard. I'd rather just get rid of it. And I have Funeral Charm for their draw step for, yeah. This is just a, a brutal deck. I love it. It's beautiful in all the right ways. Let's get rid of whatever that is. Who? Well, that was about as bad as that could be. Yep, that was about as bad as that could be. So they're on a what turn clock right now? So three more turns. They can turn on Wildwood now? No. No, they don't have another white. They'd have to ghost quarter themselves, and they still don't have the right land. Oh, wow, that is savage. Sick. Okay, they're going to ghost quarter themselves. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. Oh, they didn't have a planes to go get. That's rough. I mean, another small box off the top just kind of seals this up, I think. Yeah, and that puts them down to next turn, basically. They they lose. So if they hold the card they have in hand... Okay, I was about to say they have one more turn, and yeah. Well, this has just been... Uh, A brutal uh, series of games. Uh, I wanted to make sure I was recording. All right. I uh, love this deck so much. <laughs> I mean, you're basically just playing, like, the biggest asshole you possibly can. Like, I mean, I, it's so fun. Raven's Crime off the bat into Smallpox with two removal spells. So this is really good against someone playing creatures and really okay. So green white that's perfect. Uh, that's kind of what we want to see right now. Um, so now even if they don't play a creature, we don't have to Smallpox next turn. So discard Ballista. So is this like a... Uh, what is this? This is that uh, that one deck. Uh, Hardened Scales Affinity. Is that what it's called? Or is this that uh, that other one with... Uh, I think there's one with Vengevine that does something kind of similar. Wrench Mind is going to be weaker here than it has in the rest of the matchups, which kind of sucks. But uh, that's fine. Um, hopefully they play a creature this turn. Like spend their whole turn playing a creature. Uh... It makes me wonder, without a third land, whether we can afford to smallpox right now. Yeah, we we smallpox. I take it back. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether we can't do anything else or not. Because um, yeah, that looks like uh, I know what deck this is now. So, oh, cool. And we have our we have our next land, so that's good. Um, so pox. I can't even discard the salvage, which kind of sucks, but I think it's fine. Uh, well, I guess we can discard the salvage. We can dredge the salvage back. Because we already played our land for turn. So, yeah, we'll just dredge the salvage back. It's the same as discarding nothing, basically. Except, what, except whatever we mill. 
which is fine with me. I'm down to just play Shrieking Affliction next turn. It's not my dream play, but we have Smother. We have Victim. We have Wrench Mind to just clear them out the rest of the way. We can keep them off their combo. Uh, they'll probably just sack their Swamp, I guess. Keep their Temple Garden. Ho! Oh! <laughs> all right so this deck actually can whiff super easy the deck we're playing against right now um they can get infinite mana and then do nothing with it so i think we're gonna bring in a couple bontus though we'd rather not have to let them get to the point that we need to play bontus honestly it, it was kind of necessary against dredge if they get there against us we i don't know we don't want to be there um uh honestly at all so we're gonna go ahead and lose oh actually they they do play coco but i think it's fine i think we can afford to lose a duress i think we can afford to cut a stupor because stupor super slow as i have said every match as i cut a stupor every match but stupor is really good it's it's worth playing um it's not like i'm just you know cutting it every match for fun it's just uh most of the matches I've cut it, it's it's just been slow, you know. Like like turn three is just a kind of a grind, especially when we're sometimes cutting both of us back a turn with smallpox. Like it's it's crazy. But either way, smallpox again, like you guys saw an example uh, in that game, how smallpox really just wasn't even wasn't even symmetrical. Like it's supposed to like you know when the cards are aggressively costed like this, and they're supposed to be like scary symmetrical effects for both people. Ah, uh, wow. Both Bajuka Bogs. This is actually a really good hand if these were both Swamps. Um, but I, I, I can't keep this. I also can't keep this. Wow, I can't believe that that just happened. I can keep that more than I Okay, yeah, I mean, like... <laughs> it's ridiculous. That's just crazy. I mean, we might just lose uh, off that nonsense. Let's hope they play a Birds or something. Call Totally Funeral Charm that shit to death. Hierarch, we will probably kill that with Funeral Charm. Uh, yeah, I think we just kill that with Funeral Charm. Let them play out a couple more cards. Blackmail. So let's just go ahead and kill that guy. We'll kill that. Not being able to pick apart their hand is kind of rough, but pretty much everybody's trying to dump their hand anyways in Modern. So hopefully they'll do it for us, thinking they can outpace us. The dream is they play pretty much their entire hand next turn. Or that they... Wow, Thoughtseize. Probably they could take the rack. Um, I think the, taking the rack is safer. But taking blackmail is probably a good idea. Yeah, okay. The rack was definitely a much safer play there. Especially if they don't have lands. Um, they assumed Hierarch was going to carry them to victory. Let's go wrench mind. Whew! That's what I want to see. Don't have your, like, what? They don't, I don't even think they play four whole... Co I don't think they play four copies of uh, of that double X creature that does the thing I'm trying to use words to talk to you guys about. <laughs> oh, Thoughtseize in Abrupt Decay. Wow, that's a really rough hand for them. I don't think... Uh, okay, so they got their second land doesn't really matter what they play, though. So that's not great. Um, I get to pick what's left in their hand and take it now. Ooh, that's even worse for them, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that might be even worse for them. Let's just go ahead and blackmail and see where this leaves us. Uh, wow, I really don't care about these cards. Well, I really don't care about these cards. Um, I mean, who cares? I mean, just put them on one land. And, yeah. Just put them just straight in top deck mode. In, like, hardcore top deck mode. They can't even play spells. They draw, you know. Now we really need a copy of the rack, uh, like pretty hard. I think that's really our best draw right now. Their best draws are lands, <laughs> yeah, which is rough. Uh, we really don't want them to draw lands. 
makes our worst draws right now lands, but it's all right. They're taking a second, so okay, that's good. Means we get a. Uh, play right. uh, another copy of Raven's Grind here. Who cares? Yeah, without the rack or a creature, this is going to be kind of rough for us, I think. Uh, luckily enough, they can't play most of the stuff they draw. They can play, you know, Devoted Druid. They can play Vizier of Remedies. They can play uh, another Hierarch. They, any lands they draw are great, though, for them. Um, I will say that for sure. The closer they get to being able to restabilize, the better. I'm going to go ahead and just play another land because I can't see them getting two cards in a turn. And I wouldn't mind just having lands in play. Um, yeah, like we just really need a copy of the rack, I think. There's pretty much nothing else we could draw that would be awesome. Ooh, that's not good. I mean, if they play a creature, removal would be awesome. So there's that, but... Okay, Hierarch is not really clocking us as fast as it could be. So I'm not really too worried about that. There we go. Okay. Whew. That is exactly what we're looking for. Thank goodness. <laughs> I was like, man, they're just going to draw until they win, I guess. You know. <laughs> Hopefully they start trying to hold cards now. Hopefully it's not a Coco. That's pretty much my worst, my worst nightmare right now is them having a collected company. Good, it's not. Okay. Hopefully, maybe we draw some removal. Get around the fact that they can do stuff. Oh, this is this is pretty much perfect. Okay, so what we do here is we just Raven's Crime. Discard a land. And then we're going to do our draw stop and hit them. Ooh, what do they got? They got something good there? Okay, just forest. Yeah, that's fine. So... Worst cards they can hit are Collected, I guess, or Abrupt Decay, maybe. But anything else is pretty much fine. Like, Creatures are super exciting for us right now. Anything Instant Speed is not great. So Abrupt Decay... Okay, see, Kitchen Finks is great. Like, that's awesome that we managed to dodge that. Uh, so we basically win here if they don't draw another kitchen finks i guess we don't really need to dredge Drakmore right now because drawing another copy of the rack would just win us the game um so yeah so drawing another copy of the rack just wins us the game um and voila sick oh this is this is awesome you guys um yeah uh managed to go four and one uh let's go let's go open some stuff up that sounds like fun. Yeah, let's uh, let's just here. We'll we'll just we'll go we'll go open some stuff up real fast. That's uh, that sounds like fun. Collection. Let's just go to other products. Let's just go. Yeah, let's just. Oh, I'm on deck right now. Okay, so that's interesting. Let's just go. Yeah, let's open one. Got some play points, which is fine with me. Can always use more play points. Sun Petal Grove, I don't think that's worth anything. More play points, always cool with that. Yeah, Swan Song. At least it's pretty. But yeah, let's go uh let's go take a gander at the deck again. Just talk about it for a second. <laughs> it's so much fun. Uh, that's <laughs> like, I mean, uh, like, you know, I <laughs> everybody just scoops so much. Like, obviously, you know, like a lot of them, uh, we, we, we pretty much wrapped it up. Um, and they, they would know if they had outs or not. But, you know, sometimes people are like scooping just because just it's annoying. You know, like a couple of those, uh, 
couple like a couple times you get smallpox, you lose a land, a card, and a creature, and you just feel like garbage when I just discarded a like a Drakmore Salvage or like a all I did was lose a land, discard a Raven's Crime. Like it just looks bad. You know, it's makes this card seem so so broken, you know, like it's <laughs> where's the symmetry? But yeah, uh that was fun. Um I look forward to uh, bring you guys uh more videos uh decks we we post on the blog uh have a great day